Hi Leo, welcome to your week ahead taroscope with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and if you should so choose, hit that subscribe button. If you are already a continued subby, thank you so much for all of your support. And thank you for helping me hit 36,000 subscribers this morning. It truly means the world and it's in large part thanks to you guys. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, with that said, if you would like to book a personal tarot reading with me, you can do so on the website address below. And before we start, as always, I would like to bless all of my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity, and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help us on our paths to our highest vibrational good. So let's have a look, see what the week ahead has in store for us what are we removing releasing or letting go of from our life path this week what are we removing releasing or letting go of from our life path this week oh and i forgot i don't know if i said it but if you if i haven't uh, please don't forget to if you would like to book a personal tarot reading with me you can do so on the website address below so we're letting go of the knight of pentacles right not necessarily a, a, a bad card at all, actually. So when you're letting go of the Knight of Pentacles, you're letting go of this uh, forced determination. Where is it that you're telling yourself that something has to be done and it has to be done in this way and it's got to be... It's almost like, where is it that you're being too rigid about something? Where is it that you're only focusing on what's in front of you like that's a good thing sometimes you know there are things and situations and experiences in life where we just need to grit our teeth put our head down and get the fuck through it right but with the when you're letting go of the knight of pentacles this is about you saying actually you know what there's more to it than this than this and more importantly there are more ways to get to where it is that i want to be i can be determined but i can be open at the same time you don't have to stick to one specific goal uh, not necessary goal one, you don't need to stick to one specific way of doing something in order to achieve a goal. So where is it that you're forcing yourself into determination? Where is it that you're closing off all other avenues by being, you know, effectively a bit too stubborn? A Leo, never. Uh, right? Where is it that you're committing yourself uh, so fundamentally to one thing that you're missing the other opportunities that are possibly open to or around you at this moment in time? So you're letting go of this idea of forced determination you know if people have ever told you like oh you need to do it this way and oh you need to do it that way this is about you being open this week and saying look you know what I'm ready and willing to take a different route if it's going to get me to the same place and it's going to uh, you know and it will be easier it will be a smoother journey why not why wouldn't you so what are we working on now? What we're working on is the page of cups, right? So letting our emotions loose, being more in the spirit of fun and freedom, being more in the spirit of just being open to the experience of life, right? The page of cups as an experience sees you looking at and observing your emotions and saying to yourself, right, okay, I've probably been a bit too rigid. I've probably been a bit too hard on myself. I've probably been, and you know, I, I can definitely attest to that. Through April, it was a good month nonetheless. It had some heartbreaking challenges for sure. Um, you know, losing a loved one and, and that kind of thing. But um, outside of that, I was very, very focused and very, very determined. And sometimes that's a brilliant thing, as I've already said, but sometimes you need to loosen and lighten up. Sometimes you need to open up to what life wants to show you and where it wants to take you. And the Page of Cups is really good at that, of saying, okay, well, you know what? I'm gonna be open to more experience. I'm gonna be open to where it is that I can go. And ultimately, I'm gonna allow my emotions to lead the way. And very much this week, my dear Aries, um, Aries my dear Leo, my dear Leo ascendant brothers and sisters this week we will probably find that we're a bit more open to the lighter hearted side of life just being more open and more creative and this is the other thing as well when you say creative like for most people it conjures up like painting and dance and all of that stuff I mean we're Leo so we love anything artsy right but that when you say creative it doesn't have to be something of that nature it just means something that you utilize your energy to make something out of right so in a way anything can be creative it's just about using your energy in that way uh, so the key to the week we've got the strength card this is us this is our energy the strength card represents the sign of leo and it really talks about you taming your emotions right it talks about you getting in touch with what you want at a heart and soul level and this will be a week where this you will discover this 
not through forcing it, not through determination or, you know, stubbornness, but through play, through fun, through joy, through optimism, through just kind of being happy-go-lucky as a, you know, when Leos are happy, they are happy-go-lucky. You know, Leos, Aquarians, um, Geminis, uh, even Taurus is a little bit happy-go-lucky as well, I, I think, as anyway, but some people might disagree with me on that, but whatever. Um, you know, the strength card is the key to the week is saying, remember to keep it light-hearted, get back to the, the all of who you are and remind yourself that you love to have fun, you love to enjoy yourself. And by bringing it back to that maybe inner child, by bringing it back to the heart space and saying, right, what do I really want? You know, what if, if, if I got to choose, what would I have? What would I really want to have in my life? This will be a week where you discover that, but it's not gonna be through sitting there and drilling your, your focus down on something. It's gonna be through that pr wonderful process of trial and error called play. So let me know how it shapes up for you. I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a fantastic week. Uh, take care and I'll see you very soon.